So let's assume that you are on your journey to success. You're doing okay, you're earning decent money, okay? But you wanna become a millionaire. You wanna become a multi-millionaire from your business. Well, it's important that you understand the traits that the uber successful use and make sure you avoid the pitfalls that the successful that lose their money use. And so let's take that comparison to start with. First of all, that guy that's made money that loses it, he's spending that money on fast cars, fast boats, fast women, all these kind of jewelry, all this expensive stuff, but he's spending that money out of the wealth he's accumulating from his business income, earned income as they call it. But what do the wealthy do? Okay, the wealthy take their money and they're smarter with it, they invest their money in one of the five asset classes or maybe even all of the five asset classes. Whether that's real estate, forex, equities, commodities or fixed income, they can choose between those asset classes, the money gets invested, it grows and it's two things you've got to consider. Number one, growth of the asset. Number two, income, so cash flow from that asset. So let's say you earn 100,000 pounds, you invest 50,000 pounds, that 50,000 pounds grows to be more than 50,000 pounds, but the 50,000 pounds also produces an income for you too. If you can get that income coming in, you can spend that all day long on all the things you want to, the fast cars, the fast boats, if that's your thing. But don't get sucked into the mistakes that so many people make. You know, look, I've been very fortunate to become wealthy myself and my friends and I are very smart with our money. We don't, you know, look at me, I'm not even wearing a fancy watch. I don't believe that you need to be dripping or displaying your wealth. For who? Who do you need to show this off to? Who do you need to impress? Invariably, we end up spending our money impressing people that we don't even like, which just seems a bit crazy. Don't focus on that. Focus on doing the right thing, you know? I took my money, as I made it over the years, I invested it, I bought property, I bought equities, I invested in a business that I built that's now worth over $100 million. And so I've been able to see what you can do with your money when you're smart. Now, you don't have to have gone to Oxford or Cambridge or Harvard or Yale. You don't need a degree in being a stockbroker. You just need to follow the habits of highly successful people. And if you do, then you'll get to benefit from all of those nice things that you want, but also your wealth will continue to grow. And as I say, get your money working as hard for you as you've had to work for it yourself. Why don't you tell me some of the mistakes that you've made along the way? Leave a comment for me and tell me those challenges you've faced, those mistakes you've made, and, and maybe I can give you some advice so you don't make those bad decisions again.